Hmm. <laughs> or it could be more of an adhocracy. Where it wouldn't even particularly need authenticated voting. It would just be like be by consensus that we do stuff. Now how would a society actually pass and enforce laws in an ad hoc way? There's a question. How exactly? Because I know, I, I've really, you know, on, the, on the general concept of it, which is really cool, a concept which I hope E Nation is, is starting to embody, right? But it's like, okay, so, so, so exactly how would that work? So, how would that work? How would that, you know, like what happens in an emergency? And generally, emergency, it's nice to have one guy in charge who, you know, can direct things. And we just, okay, we're just going to listen to this guy because hopefully he knows what he's doing. <laughs> you know, like if you're if you're a bunch of people are on a boat and uh, there's a big storm and, and, and you're you're heading towards these, these rocky cliffs, right? There's not much time to sit and have a debate about which way to turn. You, the captain is going to go say, oh, go that way or go that way. And whichever way he says, you just kind of go with it because we don't have any time now. We're about to hit these cliffs. Unless, of course, we learn to talk so fast. We learn to communicate so well. And communication is speeding up. That we hardly need said captain to feel emergencies. I still remember Hurricane Katrina. And it took so long to get any sort of supplies to everybody. And, like, the populace in general was, was aware you know, that there are people in uh, in the Superdome and the Convention Center before FEMA was aware. Now, that's something interesting, isn't it? The people in general were aware first, and you could say that's just because of uh, a catastrophic failure on the part of FEMA. Just... <laughs> just a uh, very, very bad setup they had going there. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Hmm. But still, maybe it starts pointing this idea that uh, we can collectively, quickly make decisions. Probably out through the internet. Probably through things like this. People talking about various issues, tackling various things, earning various amounts of, of real world reputation without even necessarily a, a system to keep track of type reputation for you. That you could have systems built on top of it. Hmm. So a hurricane starts coming in, and then our theoretical ad hoc thing, people would say hurricane's coming in, and it'd be like, you know, hmm, you know, what's the level of danger here? And then the weathermen, you know, look it up, and they uh, post on a blog or something, and says, hey, this is a very, very dangerous hurricane. And then... People, being people out on the internet, you know, would theoretically just be like, oh, you see, this is a very dangerous hurricane. And so then, like, they'd communicate with people they know, and communicate with people they know. And then, sooner or later, it's going to get to the people in New Orleans who are about to get hit by the hurricane. And they'd be like, oh, you know, we've got this problem. And then maybe they'd, you know, from the weatherman would, get, would have a, you know, level of disaster we're looking at here and what we ought to do about it and then somebody would put together like I'm making this up as I go along this thing with adhocracies is supposed to just work it's like whoa and we didn't you know thinking through how it happened so the guy says okay you know hurricane's coming in such and such power uh and then certain other people that are good at analyzing these things. So, okay, you know, what we need to do is an evacuation. And then people would all communicate to each other, generally via the internet, but through other means if necessary, and stage an immediate evacuation and get people out. And then we'd be supporting each other. 
Hmm. It's like, who would pay the government salaries, for instance, right? Who would ensure that there's a guy who's, you know, watching the weather and he's gonna tell us when the hurricane's coming? 